Now let's have our property number 5. The diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. That means if we have our parallelogram A, B, C, D, and we have diagonals AC and BD. So, following our property number 5, AE is congruent to CE. And BE is congruent to D. Diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. To understand, let's have our example number 1. We have quadrilateral GHIJ. GHIJ is a parallelogram. Find the length of HK and GI. Okay. So diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So we have here KJ, which 5 centimeters. HK also measures 5 centimeters because the two lengths are equal. So HK is 5 cm. Now we're looking for GI. GI, so 8 plus 8. So GI is 8 plus 8. 16 C. So that is our property number 5. Let's have our second example. Now example number 2 under our fifth property. We have our given parallelogram ABCD and diagonals BD and AC. And we have the following measurement. We're going to find number 1 X and Y, number 2 AE and AC, number 3 BE and BD. Let's start with number 1. We're going to find X and Y. So we know that diagonals bisect each other. So 2X plus 11, that is equal to 5X plus 2. Solve for X. So we have 2X minus 5X is equal to 2 minus 11. So 2x minus 5x, that is negative 3x, is equal to 2 minus 11, negative 9. Now divide by negative 3, our x is positive 3. Okay. Next, to find y, diagonals bisect each other. So we have 3y plus 2 is equal to 4y minus 3. So for y, 3y minus 4y is equal to negative 3 minus 2. 3y minus 4y, that is negative y, is equal to negative 5. So y is equal to positive 5. Next, find AE. AE is 2x plus 11. Now substitute the value of x. So 2 times 3 plus 11. 2 times 3, that is 6 plus 11. So we have 17. Now we have AC. We know that AC is twice AE. Twice AE. So we just need to multiply 2 times AE is 17, that is 34. Number 3, BE. BE is 3Y plus 2. So 3 times our Y is 5 plus 2. So we have 3Y. Uh, 3 times 5, we have... 15 plus 2, so 17. And BD is twice BE. So 2 times 17, that is 34. So that is our property number 5. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.